Uh, this was a, a heavyweight fight. This was blow for blow. We scored, they scored. It was a, it was a really tough game, and um, we we found a way to to get the win. For you personally, what is it about you, like that trait to be able to come up big in a big game? Like <clears throat> um, for me, I, guys, I, I, it's it's really not me. It's it's Tannehill. Like some of the throws today was. He couldn't put it in a better place, you know. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I was more hyped about the, the throws than than not what I did, what I, what, I, what I did with the catch. But he's been spot on, and he's he's always been accurate. But he's been he's been balling. It made you wait a while for your first touch. Super special to take it to the house. Um, of course, you know I'm, I, I've learned over a period of time and stay in the game. Um, if I don't get a catch in the first quarter or the second quarter, just stay in it because I know they're going to come to me eventually. And, uh, and right there, I made the most of my opportunity. How deep was that when you score on that play right after the whole deal with the interception and the fumble and all that that really seemed to change momentum for a while? I think that was, was, that was the play where we tied it up 14-14. Uh, that was big. Um, just give us momentum. Uh, to just change the game around, because like I said earlier, it was it's a, it was a heavyweight fight today. It was blow for blow. So. Um, I think it come down to will and, and details. Um, it's a, it's a lot of stuff we got to clean up, of course. But uh, I think uh, the will, the want to, you know, um, somehow Tannehill, Tannehill be real calm in in those situations, like. Like so, I don't. I don't have any doubt in in, in, his, in my mind that he's going to deliver, and uh, the defense came big, came up big with a big interception. For sure, he's not the only one who kind of has that attitude, that calmness. For sure. And how much can that settle guys down? Because the whole thing to have somebody guiding them. I think he settled settled down everyone. You know, um, we're in the huddle. We're looking at Tannehill, so we ain't, I ain't really looking at the O line and what everybody else doing. But he's always calm. Um, like I said, I, like I keep repeating, he's a general man. He he leads us. He, run, he he runs the team. So. AJ, hey, uh, Randy said that you went over and said something. What, what did you say? To him? <laughs> um, going into the fourth quarter, I told Randy win the game for us. It was gonna come down to him. I, I, somehow, I just knew it was gonna come down to him, and and uh, he delivered. So. What's it mean to you guys? Because obviously, there's a lot of kickers in the line. Um, I can't speak on the past, but uh, him doing his job and coming through big time win, you know, credit to him. I know, I know he's dealing with some things, but uh, like I said, go back the will, you know, the will to the will to win. So, what was your vantage point from the kick? Oh, I I didn't watch. I didn't watch. <laughs> and uh, I started praying, and uh, they called a timeout, and, and Brave said, uh, "You're gonna be praying a long time." <laughs> yeah. The crowd, the crowd. I was listening because if they would have cheered, I knew he would have missed. So they they got all quiet. I said he must have made it. <laughs> you guys are three games up, four with the tiebreaker. That's an uncommon lead, not just for the Tennessee Titans, but for anybody in the league on Halloween. How do you kind of brace yourself for that kind of position? Um, that's that's great and all, but we got a long way to go. Hey, hey. It's week to week. I'm, I'm going to keep repeating it. It's one week at a time. We got to worry about next week. Like this game is over. Uh, we can put it behind and put it to bed. We're going to learn things from it. But it's a week to week. We got a big game on Sunday night against the LA Rams. So we got to move forward. Can't get caught up in the where we stand and all that. We just one week at a time. want to know every week. They keep saying if you keep Derrick Henry from a scroll for about 50, your team could be beat. How important was it or wasn't important for you to show that? Hey, you know, I can make this happen too. Um, well, okay. Uh, just playing complimentary football. Um, just helping helping one another, helping one another out, picking each other up, um, regardless of what, what Derek does back there. Uh, whenever he, whenever he pulls the trigger, give us opportunities. We got to make plays. So regardless of what the he say, she say stuff, like I'm not really listening to all that. We, you got to play ball uh, in between the lines. So ain't, ain't no talking gonna help you out in between the lines. You got to play. Thank y'all.